guys, this is Megan from You Go To Beginning. This week, our video is just gonna be a little bit of update on a few different things around the farm. I started with our garden. Last week's video was about our garden. And of course, uh, I think the day after the video, maybe a couple days, uh, we had an unwanted visitor in our garden. So we've got some uh, damage and we'll show you and um, talk about hopefully we'll be all right. Um, and then we've got some stuff coming up with our lambs and we are uh, just dealing with a couple of different things going on here in Middle Tennessee. So this is the mangle wurzels in the sweet potato patch um, and the cucumbers. As you can see, my sweet potatoes, um, our best guess is a deer came in a couple nights in a row. A deer came in and nibbled off all the leaves but I see a bunch of leaves coming back and so that's really, really encouraging. I was really worried we lost our whole um, whole little patch here, but I think actually they're gonna be just fine. And the mango wurzels got topped, but they all have new leaves coming in. Uh, and my cucumbers. So you can see on the left side, there's three little mounds there that still have some and they've got some good leaves going. I desperately need to get a trellis going for them. Um, but the other three mounds have all been topped and killed so if i get out here quick and uh, get with it i'll just succession plant those i'll just come back and plant them now um because honestly the other ones are only a couple weeks ahead anyway so of course the deer and there's not much we can do about them but hopefully they will stay away uh, and we have a couple of um, watermelon that are getting huge you can kind of see them in there by the rake i'll go over and show them to you but they are so exciting we've never done watermelon before Ah, so I just came walking out in the garden and these two teapots, these two tomato cages fell over. I think they'll be okay if I can get them stood up and back in the ground. I knew this was going to happen. I've been meaning to grab some teapots, get them up um, to help support these tomato cages as they get bigger and taller. So don't be like me. Support your plants. Do your tasks that you, uh, you know that you need to get done. And I've just been putting it off. And so just these two, thank goodness it wasn't all of them. Here's the cucumbers that made it. And we've got three mountains here that got nipped right off. But look at here, they're hiding. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. We've never done watermelon before. I'll bet there's some other ones hiding, but I don't see any. It's a good thing I have so much help around here. I don't have to do it on my own. So we've got our sheep and goats. We actually went ahead and moved them out to our front yard. This is the first time they've been on the front pasture. But the big problem is this is our front pasture and they've only been on it for a day and it just has not grown. We haven't had to bush hog it. We haven't had, I mean, it's okay length, but this is really, really short for us not managing it at all. It's just been so dry. I don't think it's rained in about a month. It's been so dry, nothing is growing. Oh, and like this spot here is bare. Like the goats have only been here for a day and the donkey had kind of messed with it a little, but this is extremely unusual. So we've got grass that won't grow and animals that only eat grass. We've got some lambs here. So these three guys in the middle, one, two, three, are our ram lambs are getting nice and big. Uh, it is time to castrate them. So that will be happening uh, probably tomorrow. So I won't show that on film, but um, they are getting big enough that I wouldn't want them to breed their moms. And so we're gonna go ahead and castrate them. And we've got our goat crew over here. And yet again, Link just looks really sad as he's trying to lay down there. I don't know what he's doing, but he's got a big like sore on the side of his neck. I think it was itching him real bad. So I've been trying to put some lotion on it. That poor guy. All the other goats are fine. Like they look so good. Uh, Tansy is looking shiny and smooth. She looks great. Cedar and Elrond look great. I noticed this morning that Ivy actually has a cut on her belly. But um, yeah, this is just a season of managing the farm and managing all our issues. Sometimes homesteading is not just the the cute little babies and the, the fun summer harvests. Uh, sometimes it's just managing animals, the tediousness of moving fences and um, the worry about managing a pasture that is not growing because it just has not rained. Uh, trusting God that it will rain and that he will provide and 
that will figure it out, uh, even if it means feeding some hay in the meantime. Um, but we are definitely praying for rain around here. So we've gotten maybe five minutes of rain a few times, but it's been about a month since we've had a real storm that actually soaked anything at all. Um, and now we're dealing with some goat issues. I'm looking at Ivy and she's got like a cut on her side here. Um, Link is trouble. So this isn't the fun video. This isn't homesteading is all rainbows and unicorns. This is homesteading is obnoxious and um, and full of tasks that I don't I don't want to put lotion all over the goats. <laughs> it's not an exciting task, um, but I do love it. It is worth it. Um, and so if you're getting into this, that's one thing. Take baby steps. So when stuff like this comes up, you can kind of learn about yourself, whether it's something that you enjoy doing and that's worth doing long term for you because it's not it's not easy. It is so hot <laughs> out here. It is muggy and humid um, and I have to be out here with the animals. So um, we'll kind of show you what we're doing to help take care of them and we'll uh, probably go from there. All right, so I just put some on Linky. Uh, now I'm going to put some lotion on Ivy, but I'm actually just using my plantain salve. It's in a different video. Uh, I made it with plantain and comfrey and some olive oil uh, and some red clover and stuff too. So it'll be really healing. Uh, it's definitely safe for them. Uh, we're going to get some on her. She's got a few spots on her back there, and I know she's got a cut or something under her belly. So the question really just is, oh, you can see it on Linky's neck. It's, um, it looks worse because I just put the lotion on it. It is scabbed over and dry, but I don't know what's going on. I don't see anything like a light lice. I think it, like the allergies are, I mean, something to do with the heat. My two black goats in the heat. All right, let me get some more. Well, that's all I've got for you. Ivy does have a, a pretty good sized I don't know, sore on her belly, so I'll have to be looking into uh, what caused it. Maybe there's something sharp that she rubbed it on, or even just a stick, or even just the dry grass. Uh, I'm not sure, but I'll have to keep an eye on it. At least I milk her every morning, so I should be able to put something on for her. Um, but Sean is doing well. Our ram, he gets moved around by himself. I think at some point here, after we castrate the lamb rams, um, we'll probably... We'll probably actually separate out the sheep and the goats and put Sean in with the sheep. <clears throat> uh, River, our puppy, is doing great. She is getting big and growing like a weed. Uh, she's spending a lot of time outside and just kind of in the barn pasture uh, near animals, but not with them. Uh, she's doing really great, but she's still a puppy. <laughs> so lots of work here on the farm. Um, we are actually getting ready to process our first round of meat birds this weekend. So we have a lot going on. And like I said before, sometimes it's not the glory stuff, but it all has to get done. Uh, and honestly, I do enjoy it. I, I do enjoy being outside and just getting to spend time in nature. And I always marvel at God's design, even when, even when it's not perfect out here. So have a great night, you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.